Okay, this is my new Apers Tracker project. You're looking at a three and a half inch LCD screen driven uh, by composite video. Top left corner is uh, the received call sign and the uh, speed and comment. That's a airplane, so it's doing 113 miles an hour. It's 5.9 miles southeast of here, and we heard it direct. The list below is the call signs I've heard recently, and the section below that is my um, my GPS and position status, and just below that is uh, my telemetry. So it's reading 14.6 volts and about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pull out of the driveway here. The received station there just turned green to alert you, and the red means that it's transmitting a beacon. So there's my beacon I just received back. There's another course change detection beacon transmitted. And now it's going to show us that every four minutes and 38 or so seconds it's transmitting a beacon. Last one was about 19 seconds ago. Here's another transmission and received. The little bar graph on the bottom right hand corner shows us the uh, how well we're making it into our digipeters. So uh, four bars means that all of our all of our beacons are being heard uh, back by us, echoed from Digipeters. There's another received uh, status beacon, no position, no icon. As you can see, the Apers icon is shown in the top right hand corner of the screen. It's scaled up considerably from the 20, uh, 20 pixel wide uh, standard Apers icon, so some cleanup could certainly be done to that to make it a little bit prettier. <clears throat> the flashing in the background of the, uh, the color bars is due to the fact that I'm using a very, very low quality uh, AV cable to connect the beagle board that's in the back of the car to this uh, up here in the front. There's a lot of uh, alternator noise. It doesn't do that at all when the engine's not running. Uh, I expect that improving that cable will uh, make that all go away. So we've come to a stop here. You can see that uh, the last position was received by me via the K7HIO Digipeter. Since we've stopped, we've gone down to every 30 minutes for a beacon and uh, our last one was 23 seconds ago. You can see right above the, uh, the, the four bar bar graph there is uh, satellite status. So we've got a locked position with nine satellites. Moving here again. There's that airplane me. The uh, status message, uh, when we're moving at a high enough rate of speed, it sends only compressed small uh, mic E packets. Every once in a while when moving and always when stopped, it sends a, uh, a status packet or, or a packet with a comment which has a rotating uh, status message. Those are configurable in the configuration file and have variable substitution for various things such as the time, the date, the uh, telemetry uh, numbers, the, the temperature and the voltage as well as software version and various things like that. So you can create a bunch of beacons that it rotates through, substitutes in the appropriate value. When it's stopped, the, uh, trans the, the uh, tracker will actually transmit uh, weather beacons for the temperature that it's got, and it will transmit uh, power height and gain beacons uh, with status information that is programmed in ahead of time. 
So sitting in the uh, driveway, we were getting uh, full penetration into the DigiPeter network for bars. Now that we're moving around quite a bit, uh, we're missing a couple of packets here and there, but for the most part, our DigiPeter coverage is very good.